Hello, everybody. This is an impromptu episode, but still brought a guest. It's going to be a good time. But you know that we are a podcast. Go check us out on Spotify, Apple, and uh, Anchor. Rate and review us. All the good stuff there. Pop Smurf is, is indeed here because <laughs> he is in the lobby. And that is our guest for this evening. We're going to recap. So PNS had a meet and greet, Hayward, California, at the PNS headquarters. They also had a one-day extreme training. So flew out to California, attended both. And now I'm sitting in the hotel room. So time to bust out a podcast. And uh, Papa Smurf also showed up, Mike's Auto Detailing. Uh, and Papa Smurf's going to join us for a little recap. But we can't do it without my Canadian cohort, Mr. Alex Dewar at Bucky VW. What's happening, everybody? What is I, happening? Uh, indeed. If I wasn't jealous of Jamie's experience, I'd be I'd say I'd be lying. So, <laughs> but, uh, very, very uh, deserving of what you did. So I can't wait to hear all about it. Yep, it was a heck of a time. Heck of a time indeed. It's it's almost too much the process, but we're gonna try and get yep. a get a good podcast out of it. Yep. And like I said, the one and only Pop Smurf is here to recap it with us. So everybody, Pop Smurf, what's up? What's up, fellas? Oh man, here I'm excited. Go. I'm still I'm still excited. Uh, still a little sore from the drive home because that GSX not fun to drive long long distance, <laughs> but it was a good time. It was well worth it. The with the YouTuber meet and greet in the parking lot. I awarded Papa Smurf for best of show. <laughs> there you go. Excellent showing. He was competing with the, the bead maker car. The oh man, PNS has the poster of the bead maker poster with the orange car. It was there. Oh, very cool. That was this competition. Papa Smurf still pulled it out though. I know? still don't get how they got a V6 to sound like that. Was that a was it a Camaro they had on the poster? Yeah. Because I remember, like, I remember seeing that poster, and like everybody on the internet's like, "Oh, that's going to be the new Beatmaker logo, sweet!" And then it just never happened. So it was cool. Yeah. The license plate actually said Beatmaker. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, definitely should. I mean, it'd be a sweet logo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Slap that's a new that, boy. Boy. that bad boy. Dan, Dan what's happening? Yeah, y'all can uh, comments can chime in anytime. We don't have a theme. Except for recapping the PNS meet and greet, mm-hmm. and just, uh, I can just say a little about stream one day training. PNS released a new product today. They're clay towel. I think. Oh, is it clay towel? Con. Yep, they released the clay towel today. Pretty much the same model of the rag company, so it's an excellent, ultra fine grade clay towel. It's just red and gray easily, versus blue and blue and black. Blue and blue. Easily, blue and blue. <laughs> easy, blue and blue. Blue and yeah. blue. Easily one of the best clay towels on the market. I like so blue. If you want, if you want it in red, check out you the PNS version. <laughs> and that's about so, it. so I want to know. Obviously, they didn't fly me out, so I want to know behind. I mean, as much as you can tell behind the scenes, man, you got there early. You got to get yeah. the the behind the scenes, and then the class afterwards, which I really wish I would have stayed for. But uh, I mean, it was and it was Jamie's first was plane ride cool. ever. We can't forget that. Yep. First really? Scooting, yep. I guess. First I guess first two there. plane rides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you nervous? I I'll take a couple. To get oh there. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the oh, Shreveport, man. Louisiana airplane was teeny tiny. It smelled like bo. You know, like old. Oh. <laughs> a kid threw up on it. Oh my oh, god. Oh, the, fl- the flyer has <laughs> like a, a headband that's held on with a with the tie strap around the top with a cigar at his mouth. Hang yeah. on, we'll be all right. <laughs> yep. <Not so> well. <laughs> flew to Denver in that. Had a layover. The plane to California was much nicer. Nice. Much bigger plane. I was in the middle yep. row, so I didn't even have to deal with the windows. Heck great. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to plug this fan in real quick. All right. 108 degrees. Oh. 108 degrees. It yeah. feels pretty good. I don't, know. I, I don't even understand Fahrenheit, and I know that's hot. Oh. Yeah. 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 It has been nice here compared to Louisiana. Actually, I, need to, I need to do that conversion right now. I yeah, think that here. works out to like 45 or something. Let me oh. see what the Bay Area says. It says 73 here. Nice. Can you guys hear my fan? Is it loud? No. No. Perfect. Yes. The singing mic is is a success. Perfect. Yeah, 180 oh, 42 Celsius. Holy man, I couldn't even imagine. Dude, it's yeah, it's 
it was miserable today, man. Um, <laughs> even even um, Jamie yesterday when I drove out there, yeah, uh, dude, it was so nice out there by the mm -hmm. bay. Um, I was driving home, the sun was setting, I was cruising by the bay, man. I actually had to turn my heater on. I wow. was like, oh, this oh, wow. is nice. Yeah. This is nice. And then I got into Vacaville and it was like 102. I was like, ah, this is miserable. How long of a drive was it for you? Um, from my house, it was 58 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. So not far. Not that far. Yeah, not that far. It's the traffic. Um, yeah. The track because I got I have a, a stage three clutch in the GSX and man my le my left like quad was sore and my calf was sore when I got there. Yep. Yep. What's up, detail buff? What's up, Dustin? Detail spot in the house. Hello. What's happening? Yeah, I've uh, I've driven cars with those those types of clutches before and I know exactly what you're feeling. Uh, <laughs> so man, it's alone. <laughs> clutch, clutch, clutch. Yeah, clutch. Yep. clutch. Yeah, people get mad at me because I'll just like keep it in first and I'll just go so slow, even though there's like 20 car lengths ahead of me. I'm like, dude, we're in traffic. Yeah. You want to pass me? Yeah. Go ahead. They're just going to stop right in front of me. I'm like, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, Jamie, so, so what happened? You, oh. you flew there. What was the uh, flew there. What was the itinerary? The itinerary was make it to California. <laughs> Step one, then, uh, checked off the list. Yep. Yep, and then just hang out with the PNS crew. Very cool. Uh, Ian from shipping picked me up from the airport. Great nice. fella, very young guy. He's got it going on, always shipping me stuff. I tell him his the UPS drivers are rough with his packages, so <laughs> <laughs> Have I, get a a couple, I, get, I get a couple pretty beat up from California to Louisiana. <laughs> we barely make it sometimes. He's like, yeah, oh, man. We're, we're working on improving that, so. Well, they got to deliver them on those fan boats. Of course, it's going to get beat up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple gators <laughs> to put out of it. <laughs> a little camera on the box just to, mm -hmm. to yeah, see the box happens. journey. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah, yeah. So, so when you got there to the, you got there safely, one piece. You got to the hotel. Did you go? Did you like get ready and go straight to PNS after that? Yeah, I didn't even go to the hotel. We went straight to PNS. Oh, oh nice. Ian brought me Very straight cool. to the headquarters, and then you know the, the team was there. It was uh, you know we had the PNS crew, Bob, of course Dave's there, Phillips Brothers, and we got uh, Rennie Dole, Sydney. I think that's all of Team PNS because then we had Team Auto Geek, which is Justin Lobato mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Dave, Robin. Right? Was, was Robin, Dave? Robin Sweet. Yeah, Robin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, cool. Team Auto Geek. So I'm the collaboration cool. of uh, manufacturers, or I guess Auto Geek is a distributor more than anything. I guess, yeah. yeah. yeah slash training, slash all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to cool. trying to generate a podcast here, but it's rough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm telling. That's you. All right, these are the best ones, man. You just it wing it. Bang, 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 bang. Last two yeah. days, but yeah, they had me a turkey sandwich ready to go, and then oh, so there I you just go. Out. Yep. Rennie's everything you think he's gonna be. I mean, is it is it Rennie a cool dude? Rennie is just. I mean, I, I don't he's know. all he's just, just like when yeah. I when I when I met him. The only thing I could have to say about Rennie is just he's he's all about love. That's oh yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, he's a genuine guy. You know, it's like oh yeah, yeah, it, yeah. And Justin Lobato's just as scary as you think he's gonna be. Yep. All the <laughs> tattoos going. Yep. Don't mess with you know that. Guy. Those, guys, those guys are the teddy bears, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. 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 Everybody's okay. awesome. But yeah, just hung out with them. So yeah. how'd today go? Uh well, we gotta get to the meet and greet first. Oh yeah. Mm. But, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Yeah, don't want to jump on the yeah. We haven't even got to you and Mike in the parking lot yet. Oh man. Yeah, okay. saw some saw some cool stuff. Definitely, PNS got some stuff on the way. Stay tuned. Some might be game changing. Very Good cool. Stuff. Very cool. Now I feel like Dewar. Dewar knew all kind of stuff when he got back to <laughs> PRCMA. Yep. Wouldn't tell me nothing. So, so ha -ha, I do. Oh, I'll tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Yeah, yeah pretty <laughs> yeah. much. It's a Canadian ultimatum. Yep. yep. Them's, them's the breaks. Yep. But yeah, just hung out till uh, I got roped in a in the meeting. 
I told you when Rooney starts handing out papers, you know, you're not going to get up and just walk out of there. So they started meeting. <laughs> I was stuck in there. Mike and Smurf showed up in the parking lot. They're like, we're in the parking lot. I'm like, I'm not just going to walk out. Rooney Doles. Yeah. Like, sorry, guys. Friends are outside. Got a piece. Mm-hmm. Got to leave. But yeah. no, it's all right. We had some Coronas and Mike's oh, cousin Cooler. We were good. Dandy's clay towel. Yes, they just dropped it today. PNS got a brand new, I think they call it the decon towel. It's red. It's uh, basically the same model as the rag company. It's red. Yeah. It's it's awesome. I could, yes, I did get to use it during the training, doing a wash and clay with a paint cloths and bead maker. The bead maker system Sydney's got going on works great. Wash, mm-hmm. bead maker, decon. Dry, phenomenal. Yeah, that. Bead but I for sure that that blew me away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they use bead maker for D, like for the yes. actual lubricant for the decon, and then that's just and it's mind blowing. It's crazy. Yep. It, it, like people uh, were using uh, it and they were like, "Holy crap, this works so so good." Yeah. Because when I first heard that, like at first you almost think they misspoke. It's like, did they say that right? And then they're like, yeah. "Nope, we do it all the time." I'm like. Okay, I would never even thought to try no. that, right? No. Uh, apparently, it's uh, pretty, you, you, pretty you, you hear the contradiction of you don't want to use a clay lube with protection because, <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be claying most most likely not everybody I would say I don't know what six out of ten people if you're claying you're gonna be polishing so why do you want to put protection on the paint when you but it's like that's right, the uh, I, I guess it, the, yeah. the, Used the to quick do and dirty method, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, bead maker is not really the most durable, so I don't imagine mm-hmm. you, it'd be like, okay, I'm gonna apply a, a use a ceramic coating to you, you know, clay. You know, it's like, yeah, stuff will come yeah, off. Yeah, and the I, paint, you know, yeah, yeah, and I think but, it's. Uh, uh, I mean, it's. I mean, it kind of makes sense for for volume, but if you're just messing around in your garage having fun, like, you know, I've never seen the. Because I always usually clay right after a wash, and then, yeah, like you said, mm-hmm. go right into polish, or whether it be full on correction, or one step, or even just, you know, put some nuts on it. You know, but yeah, yeah. I usually I don't Sydney says, my take of my time. <laughs> yeah, and Sydney says the longevity of bead maker is somehow magically increased with this method as well. It almost like sets anchor points or something, and then sets a nice foundation that she's been having because she does six month maintenance. Like she schedules them, kind of like going to the dentist. Like I'll see you here, you know, <laughs> car yeah. six months. Don't so yeah. she says, or I'll send the cavalry. She yeah. says some come back looking great. What Very a cool, cool chick! Sydney was a really, really awesome chick. Yeah, yeah. Sydney's cool. Indeed. Yep. And what uh, you and you and uh, Mike showed up in the parking lot. Tell us what happened in the parking lot. So what yeah, happened I was um, I showed up. Not knowing what I was getting myself into, uh, but then I saw this uh, this nice fluffy guy, and it and, and sooner or later I realized it was Mike. Um, and then I noticed the gloss on this truck, and I was like, "Ooh, nice!" Uh, and then we cracked open the Corona, and we waited for uh, for Jamie to come out. And uh, yeah, he made a oh. custom cooler out of a crate that yep. didn't work too well, but hey, a for effort, Mike, Mike ingenuity. Mike, yep. <laughs> Mike ingenuity, indeed. Yep, he had Mike a milk ingenuity. crate. <laughs> Which I wouldn't put it past I wouldn't put it past that guy to do something like that. Yep. And that you know, we classic. just kind of hung out and uh you know, we saw the Camaro pull up and then I felt obligated to back my car in because he backed his car in. And it yep. was pretty much a two car show and I'm pretty sure I won. Um Yep. Yep. I think so I was a little bit glossier. Mm. Yep. Has anyone tried the new cordless Milwaukee polisher? I haven't tried that one, but I've tried the Flex I ones today, and they were awesome. Oh, man. I want to buy that Milwaukee cordless. I want to make the transit. After having the, the Flex PXE80, mm-hmm. I want a 5-inch cordless so bad, but I'm so – I'm the type of person <laughs> yeah. that I know. I won't even touch my my, cord, my corded polishers anymore. Yep. I mean, yes, yep. they have their – you're not going to beat a cord a corded polisher as far as power. I mean, you're just right. Like, yeah. No matter what anybody tells me, you're not going to beat it. And but it's like I've got six corded polishers, so it's like I'm going to find have to find a way to off all these polishers and get mm-hmm. the cord the cordless ones because it's just so it's so more convenient, man. And uh, yeah, yeah. 
less stressful, yeah, the, you know. Flex you know, has I used today their forced game. rotation one. So that one, you know, it forces you're gonna get the power out of it. So oh yeah, that's, uh, like the way to go. Got to get forced rotation when you get the battery operated ones, in my opinion. And yeah. what's what's good about the technology about the new ones is, um, like they work consistently, and then when the battery dies, the battery dies. It doesn't yeah. all of a sudden start, you know, losing power and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, look, I'm done, and then you're like, yeah. okay, cool. You know, like that's pretty cool. You know, you don't have to worry about that. So, um, yeah, yeah, I want to make that transition. The Milwaukee one's kind of expensive, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking about doing some reviews on some Milwaukee products and see, <laughs> see if they'll yeah. send me one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, I think uh, I think the the polishing world. I mean, especially Rupes. I think because I mean they just launched the new battery powered three inch. Um, so yeah. I I feel like they've hinted enough that I something's coming at SEMA. You know, I I think that's not a not, not a too far fetched assumption. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Um, I, I feel like with Rupes, I feel like they're really taking their time with it. So if yeah. they do end up dropping a five inch, it's going to be pretty good. But I've heard the Milwaukee one's pretty legit. Um, yeah, and well, I mean, Milwaukee's so good at batteries too. You know, just all yeah, their tools are so good, but it's big money. It's money. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at a Rupes polisher for five hundred bucks, cordless one. We're thinking what, like eight hundred bucks probably for a cordless Rupes? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight eight fifty somewhere around there, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh man, that's a yeah. steep price. I mean, but uh, when you got yeah. the griots here, just knocking it out the park with G eight and G nine, yeah. and all their whole line. People bash the freaking the griots the the G nine. People bash that thing, man. Like, Things oh, it's, dude, that polisher is probably one of the best first polishers anybody could buy. Oh yeah. And that's my right. that's just my opinion, but that G nine I used it the other day uh, on on a five I did, and I was just like, this thing is freaking awesome, man! It's so yeah. comfortable, you know. That you throw a right. five inch plate and pad on it. Yep, it's monster. Five inch plate and yeah. pad. I used the uh, the the Koshkemi uh, P six O one, the sealant and polish. Mm -hmm. Yep, that stuff was legit, man. Um, yeah, I had a blast. Yeah. nice. Nice. Well, then I finally made it to the parking lot out there with old Mike and Smurf, and then the <laughs> detailers just started rolling in. It was it was pretty cool. Then full vans, all the rigs. It was it was uh, it was, it was, pretty it was cool to see cool. everybody's rigs. Yeah, yeah. Now they're showing it off too. There was people pressure washing <laughs> steam. <laughs> One guy had steamer. a diesel powered uh, steamer. I can't believe that steamer. Yeah, That's like, a man. diesel powered steamer. Yeah, it was wild, wild, on my TikTok. I posted a video of it. You got to go check it out. That man's Jeez. van was packed to the Pack. rim. I mean, you you couldn't fit anything in there if you tried, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Umberto still. Oh, you got the GG6. G G9, G8. The original. Nice. I still have my Chicago Electric from Harbor Freight, the first yep, polisher I, I bought. I got them at the bottom of my cabinet. Got the Bowers. Honestly, those Bowers, those things aren't bad at all. They're I mean, pretty good, yeah. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, they vibrate. It's like, dude, come on. Unless you're coming from only using like a Rupes or a top-notch Flex or anything like that, you're not really yeah. going to know the difference. Am I right or am I right? Like, Yeah, re reasonable expectations. Out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you start like, out with that, you realize, you realize yeah. holy smokes, what did I miss? But, you know. Yeah, if you go straight to Roops, it'll, it'll be hard to it's, go. Uh, all it's the almost way down cheating. Parade, for sure. Going straight to Roops is almost cheating. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Definitely. you have to start cheap to appreciate yeah. a good machine. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. yep. Yep. And yeah, honestly, I like, used the Flex and Roops today, and I was like, man. The force well, I like the Flex a lot more, but Roops. The force okay. rotation spins counterclockwise, right? Yeah, it goes the opposite know. direction. Of a normal it's polisher. this way, not this way. Yeah. I, I, I've seen people like, oh, it's weird. I'm like, I guess that'd be kind of weird. It's the same, yeah. but different. Yeah. Oh, hey, so, Jamie, I, 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 I told the wife, I said, I have a confession, babe. And she looked at me like, <laughs> I was like, 
I spent 200 bucks last night. <laughs> That's easy She's to like, do what? there. She was and like, what did you do? Hide in the car? Product. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you hide in the car? I was like, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I just yeah. left it in the car. I was like, I'm not even taking it out. Just parking in the garage. Mm. Yeah, you left it in the realize... car. It's in the, uh, it's in the fuel tank. That's where it is. Yeah, I, I didn't realize <laughs> how expensive the uh, the wool pads were. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I learned something. I learned something, that's for sure. Uh, but I hear nothing but great things about them. So. Yeah. Which ones you get? I got the uh, medium wool roop, uh, roops pads. Yeah. And I picked yeah, up some more of the... Uh, the two inch roops yellow pads for the uh, little flex. Yeah. Yeah. The wool pads are fantastic right now. Mm -hmm. PNS, even, I think recently I just came out with one. I didn't get to play with it today, but they're right. promoting it like it was pretty legit, but I ain't tried it yet. So I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure they'll send you some if it, if it reaches you like in one piece. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> gotta get there uh, how, first. How, how, long the the, how long were you guys hanging out in the parking lot? Uh, about thirty minutes. Yeah, and all the long. detailers started rolling in. The tacos started smelling good. They had mm -hmm. a taco truck in the parking lot. I, I did see some up. photos of some tacos. They look pretty legit. Oh yeah. I don't smart flow some tacos. Down. Delicious. I wore my my throwback, my first taco smurf shirt with yep. smurf with the tacos and uh <laughs> I felt like it was appropriate, you know, and very cool. It was cool to meet. It was really, honestly, it was really cool to see that a lot of the detailers there were younger, younger cats, you know, mm -hmm. just it's yeah. great to see that they got that drive. They got that motivation. Like, Hey, Hey man, in this day and age, if you're not social media famous, then you got to get out there and you got <laughs> to gotta bust your ass. You know what I mean? Like, yep. oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. It was good to Mike see knew, that. Mike knew everybody. He's just pointing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what's her name? He brought uh, yeah. he introduced us to uh, the young girl that was you know detailing, yep. getting her first detail ever, ever. And nice. uh, she's got to be young, dude. She's got to mm -hmm. couldn't even have a beer, so she's under twenty one. So <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. If I, I, I wouldn't put, put it past Mike just knowing everybody. He knows everyone. Yeah, likes everybody. everybody. So he's yeah. a big yeah. teddy bear, man. And we uh, we talked to what's the big buff guy with the tattoos? Justin Labato. Okay, so he's probably going to come on one of our live streams soon. We were talking to him about Very it. Cool. Um, really cool guy, you know, really cool yeah, guy. Yeah, um, yeah. We, we'll get into that because I'm jumping ahead again. But uh, so That's after the right. parking lot, we had tacos, yeah. and then everybody kind of started flowing in the back, right? And uh, yeah, I started meeting a whole bunch of people, random people, and it's it's crazy the love and support. That's why I love the detailing community, man. Mm -hmm. I felt like I knew everybody I was sitting with. You know what I mean? That's right. Like, yeah. yeah. And it people is, were just dropping knowledge. Just yep. just going like, around oh, the table, just dropping yo, knowledge. Look, where are you from? Who's you? okay? I'll follow you. You know, what's your Instagram? What's this? It's like, it's it's the community, man. And honestly, everyone's like, oh, you. Got, I was like, I don't have a detailing business. I don't. I'm. <laughs> A Papa Smurf. Yeah. That's it. That's all I am here, you know. But uh, yeah, Berto, I, I got I got Smurf there with the tacos. That's the first thing I told him. I was like, "There's gonna be tacos <laughs> in the parking lot. You better be there." Yep. I can't say no to that. I was like, "Tacos? I'm on my way." Yep. Pretty much. Tacos, Rennie Dole, PNS. I mean, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And plus, like I was mad. Ever. I was mad because uh, they had the grand opening for the store, yeah. and uh, it was on like a Saturday, but it was at like. It was really early in the morning, and I was like, mm. it was like the day before, and Mike texted me and said, hey, dude, you're going to the grand opening tomorrow? I said, dude, I work tomorrow. Like, if you would have told me this like five days ago, I could have just took took the day off and went out. And then he, sent, he was sending me pictures of him and Rennie, and he was like, Rennie said, where are you at? I was like, oh, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. <laughs> yeah, so their storefront was actually one of their distributors – and then they're just like, you just be our storefront. So like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no kidding. Yep, met all of them. Awesome people. I mean, everybody's awesome. Team PNS yeah, yeah. is just a phenomenal team. Definitely mm -hmm. got it going on. The storefront looks crazy awesome. It's awesome, have, oh, dude. That's a yep. beautiful storefront. Yeah, but I have another TikTok. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube uh, when I get home and get good Wi-Fi. But of Rennie and Bob. I walk in the storefront and then I go find Rennie and Bob 
and then they drop uh you know some hidden gems in the pns lineup and it's mm. a really good video it's on tiktok now but it'll be on youtube in a day or two did cool. you see my really tiktok cool. Well, what was yours? I haven't looked at anything. <laughs> I, it's it's only my fifth video, so you just got to bear with me. Yep. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Yep. Yep. Got to start somewhere. I got that one. Yeah, <laughs> that one with Bob and Rennie, and I have one with Sydney. It's pretty funny. It should. I don't. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't even know. It might not turn out good. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we go to the PNS basement investigate what they got going on in there oh the base mm. made her. i've been yep. i've been waiting for that yep and she may actually drop some actual real hints uh -oh. come. so stay tuned for that tiktok you get the scoop here so yeah pretty cool uh the, we got to see the entire warehouse we went on this epic tour the with uh justin and rennie mic'd up and they recorded it for auto geek but i think they're only gonna shorten it down to three minutes or so but it was an hour sure. <laughs> a straight hour oh wow just rennie, rennie and justin and uh rennie we get dave to talk and we went through the entire warehouse facility right. saw everything saw chemicals that weren't supposed to come out sydney was standing in front of boxes like don't look over here <laughs> yep so yeah, really cool they funny. really took us all over the facility it was great that's awesome <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying yeah. to. Got a subscriber asking me how to get bugs off their car, so I'm, <laughs> I'm giving them some advice. Okay, PNS bug off, excellent product, one to one. Let soak, pressure wash off. I said spray. I asked if they're limited on chemicals. I said, do you have any bug remover? I said get a damp towel, a damp microfiber, spray a little bug remover on it, place the damp towel over it, let it sit for a minute, wipe it off. Yep. A little bit of trial and error with those ones. Yep. So. yep. Then Rennie, we went back up to the front of the shop, and then Rennie was just talking shop for mm -hmm. felt like forever. <laughs> he will li I, literally, he will talk your ear off. I came. Remember when I came in? I said, I said bye to you, Jamie, and then mm -hmm. yep. all of a sudden, yep. like thirty minutes five later, minutes I was later, waving I'm at you again. Out, yeah. I was like, my. He was like, what? You're still here? I was like, yeah. yeah. And if like you run into Dave and ask him about a chemical, like he will tell you the entire breakdown of that chemical and how to use it, Absolutely. and if you should Very use cool. it or not. Or <laughs> I asked him about the wheel acids because they got like four of them. He was but after about a thirty minute breakdown, he went, "Don't buy these; they're too dangerous. You don't 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 mess with them." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so, hey, like, all right. Because can't you only buy those? So like you have to be a distributor. Hey. That yeah, yeah, yeah. So. From a, See, you know, you have to go to the store because they want to ship them. Yeah. Even their basic water spot remover, they won't ship it. You got to go to a distributor. Interesting. Oh, yep. So perks to being by a PNS and distributor, yeah. you can get their acids. They're apparently very yeah. dangerous, very concentrated. You should dilute them down like in a five gallon container. Sounds like <laughs> <laughs> triple dilute them. Yep. Humber Humberto was saying, uh, Meeting Dave Phillips is uh, like going to university for chemistry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I mean, he it's has like, a, way more like, energy than me too. Like, so it's hard to keep up with him. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Kind of like what Rennie was saying. He was like, like, it's nice having a chemist in your back pocket. Basically, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. I mean, they can tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak whenever, however, whenever they want. And uh, you yeah, know, he even said about, he started playing with a clean maker. He's like. I think 10 oh. to 1 may be a little too strong, but 10 to 20 is a little too light. So it's somewhere in the middle there. I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll let you know what the real dilution is. And I'm like, <laughs> where do I Make sign the check? name on that bottle. It's just tremendous. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Good stuff. Very cool. What were you saying, Smurf? I think you were in the middle of something, but that came to me. Oh, no, I was just saying, like, <clears throat> We were talking about putting your name on the bottle, and we were talking about putting oh, it yeah. so fine that you have to use a magnifying yep, yep, glass. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, but yep, my name's yep. on there. Look, it's on the inside <laughs> of the label. You got to peel it off to see. The <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. when they put it underneath. That's that's worse than fine print. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's yeah. secret print. Secret yeah. print. Yeah, you have to peel the label up a little bit. Yeah, I use a black light. 
Oh, there yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. I see yeah. why the rat company always talking about fishermen's friends. Man, <laughs> I'm shot. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Have to get them on the it podcast. So oh, yeah, how'd, uh, sure. how'd yesterday go um, throughout the night? How long did you guys stay there? Uh, after you left, it was like 10 more minutes. And then, you know, we were like, everybody get out the door. <laughs> Hit the hotel. Perfect. Yeah. Tacos were great. I don't know if we told oh, y'all the man. taco review. Tacos were great. <laughs> I chased the taco truck when they were leaving. She laughed yeah. so hard. I was just like, no, <laughs> don't go. That's funny. Nice. Hey, Digging thanks, Barry. Hat, I appreciate it, buddy. This is this Stick is courtesy hat. of uh, Rennie Doyle. We had him on our live stream on our channel. So mm-hmm. if you're not subscribed to my channel, check, check it out. out. Uh, a past live stream we had Rennie Doyle on there, and uh, if it's not on mine, it's on Mike's Auto Detailing. We do, you know, back and forth, and uh, mm-hmm. I feel bad because lately I've been, I've been so busy, and he's switched it up to every other Saturday because he was doing them every Saturday, and I was like, dude, yeah. I can't, I can't yeah. do them, I can't do them every Saturday, man. Especially since, um, you know, sometimes I want to do my, you know, my live stream hangouts with Papa Smurf, which I usually do on mm-hmm. Sundays. But I, I haven't had time to do anything, so it's like he was like, "I'm gonna do them every other week," and still, it's like, man, yeah, family, and doers, family, dedicated to weekly. Time. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's really hard. Now, man. Yeah, Jimmy and I are still in the rough, honeymoon but... phase of ours, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah. doing our this best. Better but... take off pretty soon. So I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know if good... you guys have noticed, uh, man. There's a lot of people doing exactly what we're doing right now i mean and you can see it like a lot because it's what's cool is a lot of people don't know about Streamyard, so you can go yeah. live on youtube even if you don't have your thousand subscribers so you can't go live on youtube you know what i mean mm-hmm. you can yeah, go live through Streamyard on youtube Very cool like that i didn't know i thought you like needed that. a thousand because that's why we had yeah. jamie kind of run it mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's mm-hmm. interesting it's kind of a yeah, I'll, loophole Yep, yep. So I was just gonna YouTube, make you be watching, all the technical guy. Don't <laughs> yeah, don't listen to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube, if you're watching, turn it off. So <laughs> don't send the yeah. cavalry. I'll tell yeah, you all about okay. the extreme stream one day training. Yeah, auto geek road to show. Yeah. It's basically auto geek road show at PNS headquarters. It's basically what it was with Rennie and uh, Sydney there as well. So. It's an extreme one day training. So you don't get into too much depth when it comes to paint correction or even the coatings. You kind of quickly go through every stage of it, but it starts off, you go through the whole PNS lineup, you know, learn yep. all the products real quick. Uh, go through pads, learn all the pads, polishers, all that good stuff. And then you get to work, I mean, you know, quickly wash your car, uh, rinseless style. Learn how to do clay with the new clay towel, paint gloss, traditional style, and then the wash clay bead maker style. So did that. And then what was after that? Hmm. Probably start talking about polishing pads around there. But uh, yeah. Then how long was the course? It was. I got. We got there at six thirty seven seven. We got there at seven. We just left an hour ago. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm trying to recap day. it. It was like it was. Yeah, it was like still got week. compound in your nostrils. Yep. <laughs> uh, nice. We basically did a paint enhancement on a very beat up Dodge. My goodness, or Ram, very beat up Ram truck. Dude, yeah. this thing went. The, the car washes here are just butcher shops. Oh, Looks like yeah. Wolverine got hold of that thing. So yeah. it, it shined it up enough. It prepped it for the paint. But boy, it did. It did. Would you <laughs> say it was a uh, harder clear, softer clear, medium clear? Uh, it was. It was a little harder, I think. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Justin did a test spot with a. He demoed a two step, and uh, it was a little harder than he thought it was. I do believe, and the scratches were a little deeper as well. Mm-hmm. So you know, sure. I'm telling you, this thing looked like Wolverine different. got hold of it. Oh man! Yeah. So did they do a good job of? Uh, 
I don't want to call it quality control, but mm-hmm. for people starting out, they think they have to get every scratch out. No, so, they do not. So this is a, like a business oriented. You need to do what the customer wants. Exactly. Don't chase perfection. Like, look, you know. see all these scratches? Guess what? Yeah, they're yeah. there. Yep. But we took, we took out 75% of the other ones. Yeah, so, so what Justin yeah. did was he did the test spot, and he was like, well, these, this is expectations you have to set with this customer because this is so bad. Like, yeah. this would really involve wet sanding the whole panel out. Yeah. So you really need to set your expectations with the customer, with, mm-hmm. you know, specific to the client and the vehicle. Yeah. And then Robin did a one step, and I – you know that barely did anything yeah. <laughs> but then we kind of honed in what we would do for the paint enhancement we all took off fused all the polishers i went through the whole flex line Sweet. It's awesome what's your favorite one the pixie and the forced rotation nice. corded and battery they were both oh, both really yeah. good yeah so force rotation is phenomenal i'm very impressed by that what we got here from barry b bjj B-I-J. What's up, Barry? I recognize Jamie, my man. You tried the Hyper Clean Eco Rinseless. I've been pretty impressed, man. It's hard not to get impressed with these Hyper Clean products. Oh, man. They're, like they said, overbuilt, highest quality stuff. So I haven't tried it yet, but I bet. I have, I think, I have, I have the Revive <laughs> and the Bug Off and the coating left inside um, mm-hmm. to dry from Hyper Clean. But anyway, we polished the truck out, and yeah. then we applied soul to one vehicle and uh, Legend to the other, and we let Legend cure for 45 minutes and came back and topped it with soul, nice. which is a tremendous combo. That's a yeah. quick cure uh, to top. Um, Legend is, I, I just hear it's just so easy to use. Yeah, it, it does have, oh, oh they they're found coming me. for Smurf. They're coming for Smurf. <laughs> So legend, like uh, there was a couple newbies in the class that never coded before. So they like put on legend, you know, went to wipe it off. And so if you go to wipe off pretty quickly, your towel's not going anywhere. Like it's pretty grabby until yeah. the right moment. But when legend's ready to come off that paint, it's ready. It is buttery smooth, tremendous, tremendous stuff. And there is Mike. I've heard, What's I've, up, Mike? Oh, here we go. What's up, I've Mike? Heard, I've heard with legend. Do you want to make sure that paint's bone dry and all your waters out of you, all your cracks? Because Yep. So um, Justin actually showed me a few tips because in Louisiana I just have water coming out my gloves, just sweat. Yeah. So what he yeah. does, take a paper towel and kind of make a paper towel bracelet and then roll your glove over the paper towel. I was like, I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah. Let me see. Not much, Mike. Get it hanging out. Invite That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. You can even modify like a, um, yeah, like a headband. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep, and wrap the headband around your wrist. Twist it around three times, and there you go. Yeah, that way you don't have to keep like wringing out the paper towel or changing out the paper towel. Yep, exactly. Yep, that's a pretty good idea too. Someone's gonna have to come some, up with a get some microfiber bracelets with a new new detailing glove for the human environments. I was, I was just gonna Florida, say that. So he knew a, he knew a, the tricks. a ventilated wow. rubber glove. I would like. Sometimes when you're working with rubber, that's the one thing I hate about rubber gloves. Like your hands just get so nasty. You take it off, yeah. and it's just like dripping wet, and it makes you just nauseous. It's not a good thing. It's miserable. You know, it's so my shop is a it's just brick with a metal roof. So it's and there's yeah. no airflow. Like there's there's no breeze. If you stand by the front door, you'll get some breeze. But where my toolbox yeah. is, I mean, you can just feel the heat just above you. You know what I mean? And it's like. I'm dripping, you know, I'm wearing my headlight and, you know, I'm just, I'm dripping everywhere. I pull my yeah. gloves off and I got raisins. Look like I've been in a pool for an hour and a half. Yep. Yeah. I mean, right now, I mean, I'm just drenched before even getting to work, just setting up stuff completely. You, your, drenched. your humidity is pretty high though, right, Jamie? Extremely high. Yeah. Low, that is, humidity. low humidity for Louisiana is like 50, 40, 30. Wow. It's never too much lower than that, except in the winter. Winter Let's time, see. it'll dry up. I think my phone will tell me what the humidity is, but all right. So it's it's seven eighteen right now. It's ninety two degrees, but humidity is twenty one percent. 
Yep. So so imagine cranking cranking the steam up, as you can say. <laughs> Everybody, welcome, Mike. Mike's auto detailing. Oh, here What's we go. There we go. He knows the deal. He knows landscape. Oh yeah. The neighborhood, the neighborhood's going out. Look at that Papa Smurf poster. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I know that yeah. guy. Hey, I, I met that dude. He 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 touched me. I couldn't. I can't shower for like week. Nope. I'm not washing my beard. Rennie touched my beard. I'm not washing it ever again. Yeah, I think Mike, I think Mike has every detail poster under the sun. <laughs> I, I got another one coming. I just, I just got word that I'm getting the. Uh... Oh shit! Which one am I getting? Obert. Obert. Yeah, I got that one coming. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Are they gonna send you a cooler? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just. I kidding. need a cooler. We were talking about the cool. Our, you your need a cooler. cooler. Yep. <laughs> My, my Jimmy Rig cooler. <laughs> 75% humidity? Oh, no, no. I'm good. Yeah, forget that. Thank you, Schmick. You YouTube it. video on that cooler. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, what do you think of them tacos and the meet and greet? That was fun. So, like Jamie, after, everybody. You, after you tested out all them polishers, um, oh, yeah. you, did, you, did, uh, you did the legend. You did all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. What was after yeah. that? So then we actually got to try out their new coating, uh, Lucid, Lucid headlight coating. Uh, it sweats just like a Legend, very similar to Legend application. It's supposed to have even more solids than Legend. Mm -hmm. That's what makes Legend grabby at first. If the solids are just bonding, so some really high solid coatings with Legend and the headlight coating. And uh, like even if you leave Legend on trim and don't buff it, like it'll turn like chalky white because just the solid content in the coating. So be careful with Legend on trim, but it can be done. You just have to wipe the coating, you know. You yeah, get fireballs are extra. very, very grabby also. Yeah, you got to get all well, – the Legend coating, after about 45 seconds here, that was the time here, you know, my area is probably 20 seconds or so. It's it's buttery smooth. Wow. Wipe off. Very cool. Uh, yeah, after the polishing, after the coating, coatings, uh, I think we just kind of wrapped it up. Got, got our certificates. I guess I can show you all my certificates. Oh yeah! Oh, let's hey, show us the hard oh. <laughs> I just walked into the wall. Oh my gosh! I feel like I'm oh, on shrooms right oh, now. Green screen might not <laughs> let it happen. Oh 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 oh! oh. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. No, green screen ain't gonna let it happen. I don't know if you guys watch the boys, but you're like uh, what's his name? The man, I can't remember his name. He's just disappears. Can't see him. Yeah. Crazy. I'm trying to figure out how to turn off my. I just did uh There. Oh, there you go. These tires right here. I just did. Uh, it's fine. Now it's blurry. <laughs> I just did these ones. Nice. That's all right. We believe you. Oh no! I'm gonna show y'all this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't beat up one of the other guys and take his. So. Yeah. Oh. All right, it ain't happening. I can't figure it out. That's Mike, right. Mike and the Corona. Yeah, you'll post you'll post a photo on the gram. Yeah, there you go. Hell yeah. Yep, we got the group picture on there. I really wish I could have. Man, I wish I could have been there today. Man. Yeah, y'all should have came. Y'all should have came. Yeah, because you. I mean, a five hundred dollars class, and you got like a hundred fifty dollars worth of product. Well worth You're it. In this deal. Yep. And Rennie, Dude, I spent, I spent station, 200 in the freaking showroom. Gosh Sydney darn Robin. it. <laughs> exactly. You I'm were halfway busy. there. You were supposed to pick up my tab, Mike. What the heck? Well, uh, I couldn't because uh, the guy next to me, he would pick up my tab. Dang it. Nobody wanted to pay it forward. Eric, you played you yourself. What? Yeah, you I did. Yourself. Honestly. <laughs> I, I did not nothing has prices on it, so it's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna need some of these, I need some of these, I need some of these, I need some That's of these. How they get you, and I was yeah. like, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, we'll take that back, uh, put that back. <laughs> it's my Maybe birthday. Take one of these, not the whole pack. Yeah, Can I get. Rennie was like, yeah. it's your birthday, and I was like, yeah, I hope yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give him fifty percent off. Can I set up a discount code like now? <laughs> like now? There's not a discount. Yeah. Meet and greet. Live. Right, what's your staff discount? Let's go. He was like, what's your business name? And I was like, 
Whatever has the highest discount. Smurfing ain't easy detail. Smurfing ain't easy. Smurfing ain't easy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Dot com. Dot com. Very cool. Very cool. What's funny, though, is uh, before I left, I was talking to Rennie and uh, um, another younger younger kid. And I didn't even realize it, but he was – He's a, he's a mechanic, and I was talking with Randy. He goes, "That's why I love following, you know, Eric, you know, Eric's channel." And I was like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, man." And I was like, "I didn't realize who it was at first. And I was like, "Oh, dude, it's nice to meet you, like in person." Like he's, you know, he's like, he's, "You're the only person I know that's a mechanic that's a detailer." And I was like, "All right, all right. Nice. Well, it's it's nice to you know you comment, you talk to people all the time, and it's like." Yeah, you never know person, kind of yeah. Don't even know him. And, and and he told me who he was. I was like, dude, it's awesome. Yeah. Man. Like, That's hella cool. Mike, who was uh, the YouTuber we met? What was his channel's name and stuff? Who? Zion Pride. The, uh, the guy, the guy with the, 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 the beard movie. with the brother? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, the horse trailer. Oh. Joel, yeah. Yeah, Joel. That's uh, uh, it's details. It's details something. Detail. Uh, I have to look it up. I can't. Well, I can't look up because I'm. Let me see if I can look up on my page. He was just. He was dropping all kind of knowledge. Oh Very yeah, he was. Yeah, he's, he's he super was smart. Tremendous. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him on some live streams because he could help a lot of people. Details auto. No, that I'm gonna look him up right now. But they had like a disaster horse trailer detail recently. Yeah, details auto about that. That's them right there. there. Yep, that's the crew right there. Yeah. Those are good guys. Super. Detail, super awesome. Is it Details Auto or Details Zotto? Humberto knows. He yeah, knows all the details. Yeah. Humberto's <laughs> first first to the commenting. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Tremendous. You get all these new followers immediately. Tremendous peeps right there. Good people. Clifford. Yep. What's up, Clifford? And he lives close by, too. He lives in uh, – well, he – Lives a little more east than us, but uh, mm-hmm. he lives pretty close. Very cool. So, Dude, Jamie, um, overall, it's a, it's a good training session. You took away quite a bit. And you learned a lot. Indeed, indeed. Oh, very cool. Oh yeah, that's, learned a that's awesome. Few key tips and tricks. Yeah. What's coming out? Well, I mean, especially especially <laughs> for you doing it as a as a business, you're doing stuff that's uh, going to help you be more yeah. efficient. I'm sure. For sure, um, you know. Yeah. Whereas my, us, my we're, today, just, we're just yeah. hobbyist schmucks. So yeah. today they dropped the uh, the clay towel. So I got to play around with that today, and that was their new product. Just came out today. They called Decon Towel. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the rag companies, perforated, really big, really nice. Mm. But there's more coming for sure. I can't tell you though. Sydney You'll have to kill the game. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Cliff? Yeah, everything's good, Clifford. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Mean, mean B is also, mean is yep, also mean a, mechanic. Is a mechanic. I don't think he follows Mean B, though. I don't, y'all, y'all actually walked by a lot of new chemicals. Sydney covered up a label of one of them. <laughs> oh, did she? So, yeah. Secretly, I know, because... Uh, I swooped a couple, threw them in the bag, you know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, honestly, it was cool to see um, the facility because I've always wondered. You always see videos of, like, you know, the bottles going through all the machines and getting right. the labels yep. put on them and stuff like that. But you never, I've never actually seen it, you know. And I was like, mm-hmm. this is where the one, magic happens. Yeah, one room, they, like, walked us all in and shut the door. And they're like, this is the most dangerous room in the whole place. <laughs> Everybody yeah. looked back. That's why everybody looked back. They were like, yeah. "Yep, hmm. heavy solvents." Yeah. Heavy I solvents. I pulled out my phone. You know, being a building inspector, first thing I looked up was uh, I make sure the fire sprinklers up there. I'm like, "Okay, the fire sprinklers up there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I did. Yep. Looked up. Uh, I yeah. text the wife, "I love you." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Fab yeah, is also a mechanic. Actually, tremendous. Place. He's not a mechanic anymore. Really. Nope. He's full time uh detailing distributor nice. now. That's awesome. Yep. Very he cool. Finally, Very cool. He 
he, when he first started, you know, his little detailing distributor, he was kind of take, he took a month off to see how it would do. And he's just, you know, it's kind of felt it out to see, Hey, is this something that can, that I can support my family off of? Can I make a living off this? And, uh, sure. yeah, he, he tried it out and, you know, he was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable enough. And, uh, yeah. And I said, you know what? Very cool. I'm at that point right now, man. Like, like I was telling, yeah. I said, you know what? I'm tired of working on cars. So it's like, do I want to stop working on cars to work on cars? Or do I, do yeah. I want to, you know, but it's, 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 it's less stressful, honestly, when you're, when you're fixing cars, not detailing cars. I'm not saying that detailing cars isn't stressful, but it's less stressful. You know, you don't have to worry about, mm -hmm. Hey, is this wheel going to fall off? Hey, is this motor going to blow? Hey, mm -hmm. you know, this and that, you know, and it's like just recently in the past couple months, man, we've had so many customers, man, just, oh, it wasn't like that when I brought it in and it's like, no, oh, no. Well, is this the, the repair order with your signature on it with the notes that said that there's <laughs> bumper damage on the left front? Yeah. Okay. Then what do you? You signed it. Like we had somebody, um, she came in and she told us that we we used all her gas in her car. Oh my goodness. She was like, No way. I brought it in with the full tank and it's it's got half a tank. There's no way I drove my car this much. Um what's the the on the repair order? It has the mileage, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. then when you catch them out. It has the elapsed mileage, and it'll tell you it was eight miles. She was like, "Nope, there's no way." <laughs> you siphoned know. all the fuel. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I said, "You know what? Gas is expensive, yeah. so uh, you got to kind of expect that." But come on, man, numbers don't lie. Yeah. Eight yeah. miles, yeah. and if you if you look at the trip meter, it was like 168 miles on the trip. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, clearly you put 161 miles on your car, so that's almost equivalent <laughs> to about a half a tank in a Civic with a 12 gallon tank. Yeah, I know that. Yep, you're uh, having people for sure. It's crazy, man. And it's like, you know, you get a detailing business. Yeah, you'll deal with them people. Hey, you didn't get yeah. this stain out. Mm -hmm. But that's Again. what. Um, Setting expectations. Setting yep. expectations. Hey, there's a I I can do this, but there is a chance that I can't get this stain out because it's not a yep. stain. It's just no carpet there. Like, um, yep. mm -hmm. what's his name was talking about? He was like, there yep. was just no carpet there, and and it's yeah. not a stain. It's not a stain. It's it's just carpet is just gone. You know, it's mm -hmm. like I can't magically get in there with my little needles and just put some well, carpet. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make it brand new. Yeah, that's what you know. It's yeah. you know. I had someone hit me up the other day wanting the, you know, they call it a buff, buff and ceramic coat, I think. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I want it brand new, or you know, a showroom or something. And I was like, okay. I told them the price, and they were like, I don't want it brand new. <laughs> I don't I want. Like, it. You know, as a matter like, of fact, specifically, like, I'll take lately beaten. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got him. Uh, we wound up going all the way down to a paint enhancement. Yeah, one Dang. step, uh, not even one step. Paint enhancement, like all in one polish. Yep. Yeah, I was like, all right then. A lot of people one. don't understand. Like, you know, a lot. Well, of, you know what? Go ahead. I was gonna say, there's there's some parts that you should just replace, like carpet floor mats. People want them revived. It's like you could spend a hundred dollars and get new OEM ones. Even if you just do the fronts or whatever, whatever's available, you know, you can or find a used set that's probably in better condition. Or, mm -hmm. you know, even certain models, their fender liners, if they're all clapped out, then just get new ones. It's not yeah. too difficult to replace. And, you know, some cars, I understand if you have, uh, you know, HIDs or LEDs for headlights, it's not super cheap. Yep. But, you know, if you have a, a simple halogen headlight housing, you can get that relatively inexpensive instead of spending X amount for corrections. So, absolutely. You know, so, some people forget that uh, they can replace things. You know, so. It's like a lot of parts aren't bad. They, I started asking people that 
they asked me to, you know, polish their car or paint correct their car. And first thing I start asking now is, do you hand wash it? No, yeah. I take it to the car wash. Well, no, I'm not, you know, best I can do is an enhancement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I've had two cars. Uh, you guys remember the green Mini Cooper that I did? Oh, yeah. The Mini Series. The, yeah. yeah. Well, that was the blue one. That was the blue, uh, the Mini Series. Oh. But I did the, the green one. And yep. uh, I polished it up, man. I had that thing looking great. And uh, RIP, the owner had passed away recently, honestly. Um, but, you know, we've been servicing his car, his wife's car for forever. And she sure. came by and dropped her Subaru off for me to detail it. I did a full inside out detail on it. And she pulled up in the Mini. Oh, my gosh. It was <laughs> worse than when I started. Yeah. I mean, no it looked like. She went through a Brillo pad tornado. I was like, Jeez. oh, my gosh. Mm. It hurt mm -hmm. me. It hurt my soul, man. Uh, so, yeah, it's like if if, if somebody's not going to wash their car and take care of it themselves, yeah. why are you worried? You're really going to worry about scratches and swirls when you take it through the automated yeah. car wash? Mm -hmm. Like it, At least it'll be touchless where, yeah, the chemicals are harsher, but, you know, you can kind of work with that a little easier. Yeah. You know, the old so it's so it's so hard these days, man. Uh, especially around here, it's like like if for a regular car, I charge five hundred bucks for a coating. That's yeah. freaking cheap. Like That's for a truck, good. I charge eight hundred. It's like yeah. Last three people that asked me how much. Oh, dude, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm like. <laughs> You go anywhere else, it's almost double, double that yeah. price. Mm -hmm. So Clifford, yep. Clifford's got a got a something going on here. He has a guy claiming the black rhino coating is failing. He told him once he forfeited maintaining it. If he had to pay for a refresh, he's trying to bash me now. Yeah, he has to. You have to, you know, set those guidelines. If he's going through a tunnel wash, then you know there's no warranty or mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah. You're out if you know you not hand washing. You might be able to just flick and and uh, get a little bit out of it. Well, you, well, he's saying the guy, if he had to, he won't come in for a refresh. I think he's saying here. So he's oh, yeah, he won't come in for a refresh. That's that's on him. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, like uh, like the system X coatings, it specifically says on the lifetime warranty ones, you have to go back to the person that applied it. Yeah. Every, you have to be back within every six months for them to maintain it, or the warranty is no good. It says that mm -hmm. right on the warranty. Yeah, yep. I, I tell all my coating people, I'm like, you go through a car wash, that's it. Don't even, you better be ready to pay for a coating again. Yeah. Yeah. Because I ain't, and I ain't the thing is it. with, this, so the black, oh, the black rhino coating. Okay. I'm thinking of the blackout, the plastic trim. Nah. No, the, yeah, the coating. Yeah, that graphene coating. That stuff's pretty good stuff. And it's, it's hard because. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's good, man. Because. You know, oh. a lot of people think coatings are, I mean, you, I don't have One to wash my car anymore. You know, like so, some coatings almost itself. require more care and attention than just a wax yes. or a sealant. You know, you got to kind of be To be honest, yep. I mean, most coatings are more maintenance. Like, it's, they mm -hmm. get clogged and you got to clean out the pores and, you yeah, know, re refresh it every once in a while. So, yep. Yep. You know. And everybody, like myself, was like, I didn't really realize what toppers, you know, everyone's like, oh, you got to take care of it. You got to top it. And then and I was like, well, what do you have to top your protection if it's protection? Yeah. And, and yeah. slowly I started realizing. Yeah. Now I understand why people put the topper or the sacrificial layer. I like yeah, saying yeah. sacrificial layer it's because layer. sounds it's, cooler. <laughs> it's yeah, it's protecting your protection. Like, yep. yeah. yeah, just Justin had a good little story about this. I can't remember. My brain's fried, people, but I'll try and remember what he said. But <laughs> uh, he had a guy, you know, get a, like the twenty five hundred dollar coating package, and then when it came time for the maintenance wash, I think he started complaining that you know it wasn't performing right, and it, he told him the price, which was like two fifty, and the guy was like, "That's too much for, you know, this or that," and he was like, "You yeah. paid twenty five hundred dollars for coating, but you don't want to maintain it." Yep. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. It's like the people that drive the freaking. CL 500 Mercedes, but they don't want to spend $280 on the oil change. Yep. Bro, 
you bought the car, but you can't afford to do the oil change. What you mm-hmm. talking about? Like, come on, man. Yep. That sucks, Cliff. Yeah. But you can do sometimes. Yeah, you might just have to fire your client. You know, some people yep. you just don't want to work with no more. You reserve the right to refuse service to anybody, bro. Yep. You especially can fire a client especially, at especially any if time. they want to argue. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then it's like it's tough because then you gotta worry about him leaving a bad review. It's like it just happens. Like, come on, man. Humberto yeah, says he point. takes photos of the all the stuff. Yep, very smart, Humberto. Yep, exactly. And see, we all have we have the same thing. It's all on a piece of paper with their signature. Yeah. It's like no, yep. we another one. We had a customer come in two weeks ago. We've been servicing their family's car for twelve years, and she brought her car in. It's an older Impala, right? Older Impala. It's like a two thousand. Broad range when you say old like <laughs> yeah, like a 2002, right? Like, um, it's oh, like one of the new. yeah, it's like a 02, 03, yeah. somewhere around there. And uh, still the still dash car, yeah, the dash is all dried, brittle. Um, it's dry rotted, you know, when you touch mm-hmm. dry rotted plastic, it just crumbles, you know, it's like, yep. and um, we had to put an ignition switch in it. And in order to do the ignition oh, switch, no. you have to take the whole bezel off. And my brother, you know, my brother, I work with my brother. He said, look, you see all this plastic? He's like, we have to take this off. It's going to break. Like, it's mm-hmm. going to it's gonna crumble. Like, there's yeah. no doubt about it. So he put that on the repair order that it's going to break if we do it. And mm-hmm. she was like, okay. She signed mm-hmm. it. Tell me why when she picked up her car, she threw a fit because her dashboard was cracked and broken. We, yeah, my brother great. was like, um... Yeah, I told you that it was going to break, and you said mm-hmm. do it anyways. So yep. we it's ended good up you guys having... are at least doing the due diligence or write down because I feel like a lot of places yep. would even. Yeah. Oh. And 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 I told my brother, you know, he's a little nicer than me. I would have been like, <laughs> call. I was like, I would have been like, Hard call and complain. Go ahead, call the bar and complain. They're going to walk in here. They're going to look at the RO that that says it on there with your signature and they're going to mm-hmm. laugh at you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he went to pick and pull and he found a freaking whole dash for her. Oh, wow. Took care, yeah. Took care of all the plastic wow. bezel for her and everything. I was like, dude, psh, you're nicer than me, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm the nicest guy in the world, but you, we've been servicing you. Right. Like I can understand that from a customer, first time customer, right? Sure. 12 years, yeah. 12 years, we've been servicing your family's cars and you're going to, you're going to come at us like that. Like, Come on, man. Yeah. Chad, Come on, you got any questions? Man. Hit us up. Hit us up with the questions. Yeah, anybody right. got questions, drop them. We're an hour deep, so we'll wrap this up soon. It's getting late for old Dewar up there, so we yeah. got to get him, get him out of here. Yeah, we, uh, our car club has a big airport uh, no preparation tomorrow, so it's, uh, yep. it's going to yep. be a yep. good time. Enjoy. Lots of smoky burnouts and a lot of cars. So. That's what I'm, I'm talking get about. Get Ain't nothing like the smell of burnt soon. rubber. Yeah, there was uh, the airstrip here last week. There was a a big nitrous, big block versus the Tesla Model S Plaid, and the cash days final, and the uh, the Tesla spanked them. So, oh, dude! But I mean, hey, that Tesla can get Tesla can get traction. So that that, that Plaid is wicked, dude. I mean, nuts! I I, I couldn't even imagine the, the throwback in your seat that it gives you. Nope, the G's. Um, it's just like. I think Tesla's have a lot, a lot of. It's instant. Yeah. Electric torque. Oh, is, yeah. It's instant, yeah, man. That's, Tesla's it's, like yeah. every other car out here where we at. Ooh. I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of hybrids. I, th- I think I saw a <laughs> Tesla. But J- Jamie, when you when you were in Hayward yesterday at the PNS thing, the Tesla facility from there is approximately mm-hmm. twenty minutes south from where you're at. I'll be darn. But that's nice. where they actually make the Teslas. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I was so bummed out, man. That whole trip, I didn't find one person to race. That whole <laughs> trip. Well, there was an orange can- Camaro there, but you got scared. You should have raced the too expensive, Camaro. Too expensive to race. Man. <laughs> and what's so guys, crazy is... Not corn oil. Corn oil. You guys could have had the, uh, the race of the slickest cars. As soon as mm-hmm. I got on 880, 
there was a, a GT350 and one of the new um, the new uh, what is it the AE86 Toyotas. You know which ones I'm talking about? Yep. yep. And they were together. They were with me the entire way, the entire hour drive home. And they didn't want to play. I was like, come on, man. Like, yep, that's what I, I live for. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't get no revving going on? Like, ring, ring, try to speed I up, gave, slow down. I gave him a little, up, little some turbo noises and stuff like that. And he was just, nope. No, I'm, I'm too yeah, good. Michael, Michael's going to compliment your truck. You definitely won best to show with your truck <laughs> in the truck category. Thing was looking slick. Yep. It was with Scylla. Yeah, I didn't talk to a typhoon. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Good stuff. But all right, I got chat. The, I got the wheels going. Oh, I got yeah? the wheels going on right now. See if I can get to the wheels. Zoom the, the wheels, wheels on your truck, Mike. Let's yeah. See if I can grab my son real quick and come say hi. Nice. All right. Very cool. Well, Coton. Hey, There's my truck. Oh boy, who's getting got? Getting real in Smurf land. <laughs> Holy smokes. What coat are you using on the wheels? I'm using uh, Talon from uh, Fireball. Okay. I don't know none of their coatings, but gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Talon is their, is their wheel coating. Nice. Yep. All right. Well, let's wrap this thing up. We've been on here an hour. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you could pop in, Mike. Tell us no a little problem. bit about your experience with the tacos. It was yeah, a good time. Tacos were awesome. Yep. It's a pleasure meeting you, fellas. Do you ever see yourself coming back out here, Jamie? Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll I guess see. I'm coming to Louisiana then. Mm hmm Yeah, maybe other events. I think I think the deal is still TRCMA next year, so we'll we'll see who Where's, goes to that. So TRCMA is in where? Rag Company that's headquarters. Rag Company. That's where is it? Idaho. 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 Boise, Idaho. That's where I was <laughs> in the end of March. My that's goal this year was see, to that's travel. Where Sydney lives. Hey, love. My daughter wants to say hi. All right. Tell oh, her come say hi and bye. bye. The whole smart family. Oh, easy. Smurf, Jamie, Jamie, Smurf Jamie family. needs some sleep. It's uh, it's right. nine forty six a.m. Come on, love. Come say hi. Hello, Hello. Jamie. That's Alex. You guys. Oh, we got all of them. Hello. You got Smurfette over there too. Yep. Say hey, buddy. Hi. This guy's a What's future teacher. Charlie. Yeah. Your future health. You can see him on Fellas. TikTok. Fellas, give us the plugs, Mike. I know you got a live show tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. we got uh. Master. Oh. Yeah, Masterson. Greg Master. with Masterson's wax. I'm going to try my best to make it, man. It's my birthday. Yeah, I'm sure so. you will. That one's going to be trending on YouTube, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mike, I'm actually – I might get off early tomorrow, man, and I might do a live stream on my, on my channel at, like, 1 or 2 just for, like, uh, my birthday live, you know? Say bye. Bye. All right. We'll see you later, guys. It's Mike on yep. this channel Have tomorrow. Good you. Thanks care. for coming, Smurf. Good meeting you. See all, all right, later. all right, guys. Bye. Oh. Bye. Please like <laughs> yeah. and subscribe to all the podcast stuff. Five star review, people. Five See you next star. Week. I don't know who's guest next week.